All right. Good morning, Oakley, Kansas. Good morning, America. Hello, Caden. How are you this morning? Good morning, Justin. I'm pretty good. Uh, Justin, before we start, I was going to ask, I didn't want to make it awkward, but uh, what what's up with the tuxedo? I, I didn't get the memo on the attire. Oh, yeah. You're a little underdressed for our meeting this morning. I am. Uh, I'm sorry. What, what's going on? Well, uh, I am in a tuxedo because at two o'clock this afternoon, I am going to be performing as part of the uh, High Plains Chorus and the uh, Tumbleweed Chorus in Fromm Theater at on the campus of Colby Community College uh, with oh. a barbershop performance uh, that will also be featuring a group called In Accord out of uh, Kansas State, which is a singer group out of Kansas State. So we want to let everybody know that there's going to be a concert this afternoon and that you ought to stop on by. Well, thanks for the memo. <laughs> I, I didn't get that, but that's okay. Yeah, what I don't know that you can make it to Oakley in time, but well, that's pretty cool. That's all right. Uh, but uh, so Caden and I have been working on a podcast about the High Plains Chorus. We've interviewed a bunch of members of the group. Uh, the group's been in existence since 1968, and we've interviewed a couple of the charter members uh, who are still uh, meeting every Thursday night and performing. Uh, Gerald Armbruster is one of the longest serving member of the group. He's 91 and a really interesting story and history about the group. Uh, so that's sort of a preview of something that's coming up in a couple of weeks when we get that episode complete. Uh, we also we recorded uh, sort of had my camera at some of the rehearsals for today's concert and we thought we'd share those. So uh, this is some, some of the quartets that we'll be performing this afternoon, as well as uh, the chorus itself, just in a rehearsal from last week. Can't see me love nobody but you for all my life. When you, you know that I'm not that strong. Just one, just one look and I can hear a bell ring. One more look and I forget everything. Whoa, whoa, mama, mama, mama mia. Here I go again, and we'll sing all we know. Tonight, tonight, we'll sing all we know tonight. All night. All right, Caden, wow. what do you think? That's fantastic. I'm I'm excited for you guys. Now, I, I also, in that second clip, that guy had a tuxedo t-shirt, and I should have had that this morning. That's I, a good idea, yeah. I should have. Well, if you would have let me know, I would have went out and found a tuxedo t-shirt. But those guys are, you, are fantastic. <laughs> now, you're a musician, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. I, part, part, do you do some I music? I well, kind of. I don't. I'm nothing in a group, or you know, okay. I'm, I'm pretty good right. at singing in a car every once in a while. <laughs> but all uh, right, all right. Well, one but, of the cool things that I've learned about being part of this group is like they really do have fun. It's a uh, group, kind of a brotherhood, and everybody. Uh, it's just as much of a social event at the rehearsals as it is uh, preparing for performances. But mm -hmm. they really love to perform, and uh, kind of like the song says, they really love making music with their friends. And what's interesting is that, uh, you know, Gerald Armbruster, the guy I mentioned before, that's in the group who turned 91, uh, has been doing this all his life and he's still having fun with it. And uh, the headliner group for today is this group out of uh, Kansas State University called In Accord. And uh, Thomas Annis is the director of the Tumbleweed Chorus and his son, Eric, is a member of the in accord group who is in his freshman year at uh 
Kansas State University. And so I also caught some clips of that group uh, rehearsing yesterday. And then we went out to dinner at El Dos, is, which is a Mexican restaurant in Colby. And they sort of did a flash mob KSU fight song uh, inside Eldos. And so we've got clips of that, that uh, just sort of a teaser for like getting people excited if you want to come out to the concert. And today's concert, by the way, is not going to be live streamed. And it's we're not even recording because we don't have the uh, rights to distribute it. So this is like one time deal. You got to come, you got to see it in person if you want to see an accord. So here's some sort of previews for them. entertainment right here in colby kansas a dinner and a show <laughs> i it was kind of funny watching that table to the right they it was almost like they were trying to ignore it but they couldn't that's how entertaining they were <laughs> yeah, don't look away or don't look do your heads, don't heads look forward <laughs> you might be drawn into the crowd and you have to sing next if you look at them so mm -hmm. that, yeah so they, the dangerous don't sit in the front row of the comedians <laughs> is that right yeah and that's right <laughs> um yeah, so uh, the, that group, so all of the sort of previews you saw today, the quartets, the barbershop chorus, and in accord are all going to be performing today at 2 p.m. at the Fromm Theater at Colby Community College's campus in Colby. And you can come, you can buy tickets at the door, uh, and uh, we'd love to see you there. I also want to let uh, Don Barber is the president of the barbershop group of the High Plains chorus and uh in one of our interviews a few weeks ago uh he talks about uh the show you can expect to see next saturday april 2nd uh and so i'll let him tell you about that show and some of the uh, professional quartets that they're bringing in to really entertain the crowds as well Hayes chorus yeah i'm don barber and i am the uh president and delegate of the hayes high plains barbershop chapter uh i've been a member almost 53 years uh, we started uh, our chorus in uh, 1967, and I became a member in 1968. So, and uh, Justin, it's been two years since we've had a show. Our last show was 219. Mm -hmm. We prepared for 220. We sold tickets and ads, and and then we couldn't have it because of COVID. So we haven't had a show in 20 or 21, but we indeed are having one this year. And for those that bought tickets and ads in 20, we are, they paid for them. We're giving you brand new tickets to this year's show. And we are in the Beach Performing Arts Center, the former Sheridan Coliseum down on the campus of Fort Hayes State. We have a 2 p.m. afternoon show and we have a seven o'clock evening show. And uh, we'll have our big chorus. We have uh, three local, not local, we have three quartets, one quartet's from Dodge City and two local, and when we have our uh, our uh, main event, our headline quartet, is a quartet called Midtown from New York City. They took uh, their uh, fifth place medalist in the international last year, and they're very, very good. So we, we like to perform. We rehearse a lot more than we perform, but we'd love to perform. And so April 2nd, Saturday night at Beach Mint Performing Arts Center, 2 p.m. afternoon and seven o'clock evening show. I hope you can all make it. All right. Very well, nice. Yeah. 
Caden, you might even be able to make that show. I'm going to have I'm, to get you a ride out to Hayes next week. I might have to come out and check it out. Uh, you asked me a minute ago if I, you know, I'm a singer, but you've had a pretty long career in entertainment yourself. Didn't you, what, didn't you do something in high school, in Oakley High School? <laughs> well, I have been in some shows at Oakley High School. I was in, uh, I, I was in Charlie Brown and mm. the Peanuts musical. Um, I, I think I was Linus. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, and so, yeah, so I, you, I've, I've yeah. Go ahead. Well, you were in a singers group, right? You were in some like the Oakley, the the Plainsmen Singers. That's true. I was in the Plainsmen Singers um, with Jason Reynolds. Actually. I was going to say because I recognized your outfit because it reminds me a lot of this picture <laughs> of you guys in Oakley High School. Oh my gosh! So that's me and Jason, and I think that's Jason Schoenfeld. And who is on our left? I'm not uh, sure. Okay, I need the internet. I need the internet to tell me who yes. the fourth member because I'm pretty sure that's Jason Schoenfeld, and I know that's Jason Reynolds. And then here's a that's less, true. here's I, a, <laughs> a a less. Uh, you know, you're not in full getup, but you have the to the coattails, uh, mm -hmm. looking very good. And then uh, finally, here you are, doing maybe a rendition of the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Those are uh, <laughs> those are some pictures from the archives. Nicely done. <laughs> well, I'm so now you're continuing the legacy of of the performance. So now the barb. So you're at, you know you're been in this world for a while. Well, it's true. Yeah. Although my you know my music, uh, I didn't I didn't really do music in most of my adult life. It wasn't something I did in the Air Force nor in San Diego, and so. I came home and you know what happened is that Thomas Annis knew I had been in those groups, I mm -hmm. think. And I got a call from him about three days after I got home. And he's like, uh, you need to come to barbershop. And he basically called me weekly until I just gave up and came and it's really fun. So well, cool. I'm I'm glad uh I'm I'm glad you could do something, you know, now. Uh yeah. And do you have any other pictures to? <laughs> I don't have any other pictures. I have, got, I have to be like our showtime is noon, so I have to leave. Okay. <laughs> what, one last time. thing before we end is that Sally Runnels did comment: the unknown looks like Mark Nichols. I think she's right. So that's just in case anyone really wanted to know. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Well, at least we resolved that. So pretty very sure cool. Right. All right. Cool. Well. Um, uh, Great to see you, Caden, and uh, everybody, you know, come out to the concert today or in Hayes if you can make it, and um, we'll share our, you know, full podcast with interviews with the, the groups, uh, the members of the group, and it's pretty cool hearing about the history of this group and some members that have been in it consistently since 1968. It's really cool. It is. So, All, All right. right. Well, enjoy the show. <laughs> All right. See you later, Caden. See you guys. Bye.